Hey guys, welcome back. So I spent a couple of minutes, literally a couple of minutes, just playing around with the settings, bouncing backwards and forwards between the uh, fit ranges uh, and just sort of trying to get those cracks. And this is what I've settled on. So, you know, I'm getting a nice range of deep cracks within, uh, within the geometry there, um, but it's not too harsh and it's, you know, the, the effect is clearly visible. And if we come down to the end of our for each block, we can step through the different iterations and see that it's working nicely across all our variations that we're currently working on. All right, so we're getting some interesting shapes uh, and those deep cracks are sort of there. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, go for the finer details. So we're looking at um, the layer lines which seem to follow along in the same direction as the larger cracks you can see sort of layers um, so fortunately that is pretty straightforward so what we can do is we can again jump into our volume vop and we'll do exactly what we did previously so we'll give ourselves a little bit more room and we've got now we've got these two systems we've got our main like our basic noise then we've got our major cracks and what we can do now for our sort of secondary minor cracks is we can just take this do exactly what we did before take our major cracks um, duplicate that by holding down alt okay and just temporarily uh, because we want to focus on this network now before we add them all together we can just disconnect that and then focus on this new network that we've created down here if I can get my network to behave yeah so we can focus in where we were but this time you know we we don't want to go too crazy with the um, with the depth of these cracks because they're actually really shallow it's more of an indication so let's start by manipulating those values on our on our fit range to get something a bit more uh, sort of softer and in addition as well we're going to need an awful lot more of them so I'm going to come to my noise and I'm maybe going to up that to 30 say 30 yeah and maybe just increase the frequency of that just to break them up a bit So we're getting this kind of crazy bobbly pattern, all right? Um, and again, just play with the clamping. You know, we you know we can really soften this out to get like okay. So something like that, maybe we could perhaps up the roughness value on our noise get something a bit more yeah so we're starting to get this lined pattern So again, sorry, it doesn't make very thrilling viewing, but um, what I'm doing is just, you know, I'm just layering up different noises as I as I see them on on my reference. So once, you know, say I'm happy with that noise pattern, I can put down another add node, take my existing two noises that we've been working with, and add the density that we've just worked on into there and then make that connection to our final add. Give it a second to process. And you can see now we're starting to add in our big cracks and our small cracks. Obviously that is a bit heavy, so we probably want to just drop the multiply on that. And you can see we're starting to get those secondary shapes in there as well 
All right. So again, just spend a bit of time tweaking your uh, your clamping of these noise values um, to give you the results that you're going for. So that's quite interesting there. We've got some sort of secondary smaller cracks. So something like that. Let's just let's see where we are with all our other rocks. Yeah, we're starting to get some interesting, uh, interesting shapes. So just to see where we've come from, so there we're, you know, we've got the um, some interesting rocky shapes. We've got those cuts going into it. Um, so we started off from this, okay, and then we converted it to a volume, smoothed it out, and then all we've done is just layer up some noises, okay. Um, so like I said, the values that I've put in here will probably be totally different to the value. So it's up to you to experiment to get the look that you're going for. Um, but ultimately, um, this is, you know, I'm, I'd be, I think what we'll do in the next video is we'll move on to how we can do some uh, shading uh, and look development on these rocks now. So we'll need to convert them um, from volumes back to polygons okay so then we can do some shading on them um, but what I want to show you before we move on is if we go all the way back up to our Voronoi fracture node here if we want to make some more rocks or we want to have rocks that are a slightly different shape we could perhaps add in a few more chunks here okay and then see what result that gives us down at the bottom all right, so we've got much smaller rocks now, but the cracks seem to be much bigger. So that's quite interesting. So yeah, they're much, much smaller, but you can see how the procedural nature of the system is, is giving us sort of predictable results. Um, I'll probably need to just drop, for, if I'm going for smaller rocks, probably need to drop the strength of those cracks. Um, but yeah, that's with uh, that's with smaller a smaller rock system. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna put that back to a, a bigger, something like that cool in addition one more thing this is again a completely procedural system if you've got a specific shape say you've modeled like you've blocked out a rock shape you know say like something like this You know, you want to make like a hero prop or a cliff or something like that. You could just plug that straight into this little system and uh, run it through, let it cook. And you know, you can, you, it will do its thing across any piece of input geometry that you like. Okay, so you don't have to start with this exploded view that's just like a quick way to get you up and running with some interesting shapes you can plug in any shape you want so let's just again just sort of make some edits to this so we can really see how um, this is it's the volume bot that's doing all the work for us so we'll just give this a second to cook and then we'll move on yeah so you could you know you could generate cliff faces and things like that with it quite 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 easily should you wish uh, I'm going to plug in my original all right cool so uh, in the next video what we'll do is we'll take a look at ways we can convert this into polygons and then proceed on with some uh, some shading for it so uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks